Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be taking a look at Govi's AI Gaming Sync Box Kit. This is their first HDMI Sync Box, which is a big step up from their previous camera based systems. It features their own unique AI algorithm, which reads in in-game actions and scenarios, highlighting key moments with lighting. This could be the most innovative and coolest gaming gear in 2023. But are these new gaming lights worth it? And does it react to color changes any better? So I'll be taking a look at what's inside the box, the setup process, showing it in action, together with testing out the AI technology. And I'll do a comparison of this with Govi's DreamView G1, showing you the differences, which will hopefully help in deciding if it's worth getting or not. Details for all the items mentioned are in the description below, including purchasing links. But before I begin, if you're new to the channel, hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to get notified of my next release. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Inside the box, you get the HDMI sync box, which has two Type-C connectors, one HDMI out, and three HDMI input connections, with one supporting eARC, and there's a power input. You get two light bars with a Type-C connection, a user manual, a quick start guide, and a Govi card. There's two HDMI cables, two alcohol prep pads, a bag containing 3M sticky mounting clips for the strip light, and another with small screws, a bag with a small screwdriver, a power adapter, and feet for the light bars. And finally, we have a light strip which has a waterproof covering and 3M sticky strip on the back. So let's start by setting up the light bars and attaching the stand. First remove the red 3M sticky label from the bottom and stick one of the feet onto it, then screw in the little screws using the screwdriver provided. Next let's stick on the LED strip light to the back of my monitor. There's four sections to the LED strip light. Each section is connected via a cable and there's a Type-C cable at the end. Govi say it's only suitable for monitors between 27 to 34 inches. Now I have my LG OLED 20 27 inch monitor here which has a bezel-less design and as you can see the top section of the light strip length is exactly the width of the monitor and because of this the loops either side may be slightly more visible so I'll be installing this LED strip light on my 32 inch LG 32 GQ 950 monitor you'd first clean the back of the monitor with a cloth to remove any dust then wipe the location where you're installing the LED strip with the alcohol prep pads peeling the 3M sticky label from the back of this strip light stick it horizontally on the top part of the monitor do the same on both sides and along the bottom. You can use the 3M mounting clips to keep the strip light secure or use them to keep the cables on the corners out of the way. Now you can connect it to the HDMI sync box, plug in the light bars and the LED strip light into any of the two Type-C ports, connect the power adapter, plug in one of the HDMI cables to the HDMI out connector and the other end goes into your monitor. And the output from your PC can be plugged into any of the three HDMI input ports. Once you turn it on, the lights flash on the light bars and the strip light and around the HDMI box. Now one thing to note, to use this sync box with my monitor I had to switch the input compatibility from 2.1 PC to 2.1 AV and not doing this just gave a black screen. The sync box has two buttons on the front, the first one allows you to switch between the three different input sources and the second is the on off button. The app setup is pretty simple, download the Govi home app, use Bluetooth to find and pair to the device. Once it's installed and calibrated the Govi app is ready to use. You get a lot of functionality in the app allowing to adjust the brightness, set the timer, change modes which includes music mode and the scenes function as well as allowing you to use it with the dream view option so you can sync it with other Govi lights. Now this sync box has an AI function which is compatible with a small selection of games at this moment in time but Govi will be expanding on this and what this AI algorithm does is that it picks up the key moments in a game and provides colored effects to show an action taking place. To enable this function you go into video mode, turn on the AI identity notification and choose the bar segment. Make sure the sound effect is turned off. You can also adjust the saturation and sensitivity levels. Plus you can change the way the color is presented on the strip light using either all or part. Using all displays a single color across the LED strip light, whereas on part the LED strip light is illuminated according to the different regions of the screen, which looks so much better. Testing this out, and seriously, this is a massive leap forward for Govi as you don't have a camera hanging off your monitor. Performance is awesome with it being much more accurate than a camera based system. With or without the AI enabled, it gives exceptional results. The Sync Box uses Cogni Glow, which is Govi's AI algorithm that has an industry leading AI information recognition system, giving high information recognition speed, low latency, and protects users' data privacy as it feeds all the audio and visual information from your source, which is your 
PC into the HDMI sync box and syncs the information to the light strips and light bars accordingly. The HDMI sync box has a powerful processor which translates all this information. Govi claims it's the equivalent of the A14 chip from Apple which was found in the iPhone 12. There's no lag from what I could tell and color representation from the display to the light strip and the light bars are pretty much instant, doing a really good job of keeping up with fast action. Govi say it's 99% accurate and to be honest the color matching is really fast and accurate. I have the color wheel on my monitor and the colors are transitioning really well across all the different components and even on the HDMI sync box which has an LED around the rim of the front which also syncs to the colors around your monitor and looks really cool. Obviously as it's not camera based so having your lights on in the room doesn't impact performance which is a big positive. Now when using the HDMI sync box there are some limitations as the connections on it are HDMI 2.0 so in 4k the max resolution you can get is 60 hertz and 4k at 120 hertz is not supported which is a bit of a shame but at 1080p you can get a frame rate of up to 240 hertz and at 2k you can get 144 hertz which is still pretty impressive and faster than the Philips Hue sync box which only supports 120 hertz in 1080p and 2k but I have found a workaround on a PC allowing you to achieve higher refresh rates at 4k and for this you just need multiple output ports from your PC plug one into the sync box and keep that at 60 hertz and plug the other one into your monitor duplicating the displays and as you can see here I've managed to get a 4k resolution with 160 hertz refresh rate the AI is one of the major selling points on this sync box, but it's game specific and currently only four games support the in-game lighting effects. So Apex Legends, League of Legends, Valorant and Overwatch. And as an example, in Apex Legend, when you get a kill, the lights turn red and when you're recharging your shield, it goes blue. The visual effects are really impressive, drawing you into your game even more. Plus with the sync center, you can extend the color around your room to give an even more immersive experience, bringing more of the room into your game for an insane experience. With the sync box, you're not limited to just using it with a PC, even though Govi say it's aimed at the PC market, as you can plug in an Amazon Fire Stick to watch a movie or TV show or even plug in a games console like a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X or S and that works fine giving you a more immersive experience but remember due to the sync box being limited to HDMI 2.0 the maximum refresh supported in 4k is 60 hertz but it's perfect on a 1080p or 2k monitor as 120 hertz would be supported. As a comparison to the Dreamview G1 which is a similar system from Govi that comes with two light bars and an LED strip light around your monitor but it has a bulky diffuser requiring you to have a completely flat area at the back of your monitor which generally isn't the case on the majority of monitors out there but this is a camera based system which hangs off the top of your monitor and if you had a lot of light in your room this could interfere with performance and color representation and in fast scenes you'll notice it struggles to keep up but there's no restriction on the signal input like with the AI sync box whereas with the AI sync box accuracy and performance are spot on and there's no ugly camera hanging off the top of your monitor giving a cleaner look Plus you have the added benefit of the AI technology which interacts with the in-game action. But again, as I mentioned, it's only limited to four games and it's a shame there isn't a DisplayPort input. So in summary, I'm blown away by the color replication of Govi's AI gaming sync box. It's a massive leap forward for them with the AI function being the icing on the cake. The color changing and representation is accurate and happens instantly with what's happening on the screen. Colors are vibrant, reactive and bright on the light bars and strip light. The in-game lighting effects look really cool and with their new AI algorithm reacting to different scenarios in games, which draws you more into the game and gives you real-time feedback and to note the frame rate is higher than Philips Hue sync box that can only go up to 120 Hertz at 1080p or 2k resolutions whereas Govi's one on a 2k monitor the frame rate can reach up to 144 Hertz and on a 1080p monitor you can get up to 240 Hertz which is really impressive giving a really smooth picture quality you still have Govi's easy setup and intuitive app being really easy to use plus it can sync with other Govi lights giving an immersive gaming experience negatives one it's a shame the sync box doesn't support HDMI 2.1 so you can't get 4k at 120 Hertz but there is a workaround you can do with a PC allowing you to get a higher refresh rate in 4k using two outputs from your computer where one plugs into the sync box and the other into the monitor and the AI is currently just limited to four games but Govi will be expanding this to other games soon and price wise it's not cheap coming in around the 300 to 350 dollar range but all in all I'm really impressed with Govi's first 
AI HDMI sync box, which is a real game changer. So there you have it. You've come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And if you're still here, drop a GoV AI in the comments as it's nice to see who's made it to the end of my video. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.